Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another declutter series for you. This is my lip gloss. So I'm going to do both high-end and drugstore lip glosses in the same video. So in total I've got 65 lip glosses. Which is kind of crazy because I very rarely ever wear lip gloss. So I'm going to get straight into this and try and get through this as quickly as I can. I'll probably pick out first of all from each tray the ones that I know I'm going to keep. And then I'll swatch and see what I want to do with those I'm not sure on. So first of all, this is my high-end ones. So I have this one from Urban Decay. It's one of my all-time favourite lip glosses. It's not sticky at all. It's just perfect. So I'm definitely keeping this. Um, this one from number seven is really nice also. It's the High Shine in Glaze. I absolutely love this. Oh, I forgot to say, this one's in Sesso, the Urban Decay. I have this one from Pure in Exposed. I've not actually tried this yet, so I want to give that a go. Another one of my favourites is the Stila Stay All Day Lip Balm in Nude. This one's a really nice one. And the, and the Too Faced Glamorous Gloss in Sex Pot. This one's really nice also. This one here from MAC, the Miley Cyrus Collection. I really like pairing this with the lipstick, so I'm definitely keeping that. I have one here from NARS, it's in the shade Istria, and this one's really nice so I'm keeping that. This one from Laura Mercier in blush is gorgeous so I'm keeping this one also. Okay, and the rest of them I'm not 100% sure on, so let's have a look. I've got one here from Clinique, it's in the shade Blackberry Bloom, I think I like this one, that's what it looks like. Quite a sheen, but it's quite a nice colour and it's definitely good for autumn. So I'm going to see if I use that in the autumn time. And if not, then maybe I'll get rid of it in spring or winter. This one here from Bella Pierre. I don't think I've ever used this. I'm not a big fan of shimmery glosses. Um, that's quite shimmery, so I'm going to pass this one along. I have one here from Estee Lauder in the shade Fuchsia Fantasy. Again, it's got quite a lot of shimmer in it, so... Um, it's a little bit deeper and more pigmented than the other one, so I think I will keep this one. It's that one there. I have one from Lancome. Um, where is it? This. Oh wow, that is pigmented for a gloss. Definitely going to keep that one. Need to use that. I have three here from Estee Lauder. This used to be part of a six piece set, and these are the ones that have stayed. So I'm just going to swatch these for them and see whether I still want to keep them as I don't think I've used them since my last declutter. Okay, so looking at the swatches here, this one here in Cherry Fever is quite pigmented, so I'm going to keep that and pass the two lighter shades along. Okay, so I've got... So I've got two here from number seven, um, so I'm just going to swatch both of these. Okay, so both of these are quite nice, so I'm going to keep both of these. I have this one here from Tarte, I'm just going to swatch this. Okay, so this is one of those that starts almost as a clear gloss, but does actually change. So I'm going to keep it to see the colour it changes to, as I can't quite remember. I think it's just a light pink, but... So I've got two here from Buxom. This is the full-on lip polish in Sophia. And this is the full-on lip cream in Berry Blast. So I'm just going to swatch both of these. Okay, so these are the two at the bottom. I mean, the pigmentation on the Berry Blast is quite nice, but to be honest, I find that Buxom is way too sticky. I just don't like the texture, so I'm going to pass both of these along. I then have six of the Stila Lip Glazes. I got it in a set um, earlier this year. But I don't think I've ever actually tried them other than swatched them, so I'm just going to go through them now and see which ones I'm likely to wear and which ones I maybe wouldn't. So I'm going to keep them all, except for Papaya Pizzos, as... I prefer the pinker one rather than the more peachy shade of the two sparkly ones. Okay, so I think I'm just going to pass on the tart one because it's just not making any colour at all and I don't really reach for it. Okay, so then on to my non-shimmery drugstore glosses. So I've got quite a few here. Again, I'm just going to pick out the ones that I know I'm definitely going to keep first of all. So these Maybelline Colour Elixirs, I love them, definitely keeping them. I have... I'm Blushing, which is that shade, Viscous Haven, and that's that one, and Blush Essence, so I'm keeping all of those. 
this L'Oreal gloss cream in I Got The Power is absolutely amazing. I love these L'Oreal glosses so I'm definitely keeping this. The lip amplifications from uh, Makeup Revolution, I love these so I'm keeping the two of these. And the I Heart Makeup Wow glosses, these are amazing. The pigmentation on these are crazy, let me show you. I mean for a gloss, I think that's so good so I'm definitely keeping those. Okay, so these Power Pelt Acrylics from MUA, there's the swatches in both. I have the shades Unwrapped and Supreme. I don't reach for these very often. I think the first time I tried them, they didn't sit very well. But I know I'm not likely to pick a gloss this shade, so I'm going to pass this one along and keep this one. Okay, so these ones from MUA here are the Power Pelt Glaze um, Lip Glosses. I'm going to keep both of these and pass on Enchant, as that one's a bit sort of not very pigmented so I'm going to pass that one along. Okay I then have these three here, here's the swatches. This is one from Lipsy, it's a lip gloss I got on a set at Christmas, this is actually really nice. The one in the middle is from Essence in XXXL Nude, this one's really nice too. Velvet from MUA, that's the swatch there, this one's really nice too so I'm going to keep all of those. Okay then I have two butter glosses and an intense butter gloss from NYX, I love these so I'm definitely keeping those. And I have two Hyper Shine glosses from e.l.f. These are a really good dupe for the Stila ones, um, so I think I'll keep testing them out and see if I can maybe put them in a dupe video in the future, um, but definitely I'm going to keep those ones. Okay, so last of all I have more shimmery glosses. I'm going to get straight into this. One I know I definitely need to get rid of, it's one from a Westlife concert. It's really, really old. Um, I mean, it still smells okay, but I think I should just chuck this in the bin. One I know I'm definitely keeping is this one from L'Oreal. It's a Glam Shine in Sheer Pink. It's one of my app it's one of my absolute all-time favourite lip glosses. I used to use this before I was really into makeup and I still like using it now, so I'm keeping that. This Maybelline lip gloss in the Color Sensational Shine Gloss in the shade Celeberry. This is an amazing gloss as well. Even though it is shimmery, I just really like it. I have two squeezy tube ones here from e.l.f. These are really nice so I'm keeping those. Speaking of e.l.f. I have two of these glosses from them which are the extra lip glosses. I have them in the shades Brian and Michael. These are amazing glosses. I'm definitely keeping those. Okay, I have one here from Burt's Bees and one from Hawaiian Tropic. These glosses smell amazing but there's basically no pigment to them at all. So I'm going to pass both of these along. I have a Pelt Perfector from e.l.f. This one's really nice, especially to use in the centre of your lips. That one's really good. And two here from Avon. Um, these are the Ultra Glaze Wear Glosses. I really like these, so I'm keeping those. Okay, so this is another Glaze Wear Shine. I know I've probably had this for quite a while because it is obviously the older packaging. So I'm just going to chuck this one away. I have one here from the Tanya Burr Collection in Aurora. This is a really nice colour and it's a nice gloss, so I'm keeping this. I have this one from Natural Collection um, in Pink Velvet. It really doesn't have any pigmentation to it. I wanted to use it kind of like the Elf Pelt Perfector, but there's just nothing to it, so I'm going to pass this one along. I then have two here from the New Look Kelly Brook Collection. These are really nice glosses, so I'm definitely keeping both of these. Okay, I then have two here from Essence. This one is in the shade Big Night Out, and this one is Nude Kiss. This one really doesn't have much pigmentation, so I'm going to pass this one along and keep this one. Okay, so I've managed to get rid of 15. I did want to get rid of 20, but I still think 15 is quite good, so I'm currently left with 50 glosses, which does seem kind of crazy, but there's a lot of ones in here I like, and some that I've not tried out that much. So, and I'm a beauty blogger and YouTuber, so I'm just going to blame it on that, okay? Um, I'm, th I'm, I'm trying to be really hard on myself but some of it's really difficult, I do really love makeup, I love most of the products I've got, so it's really hard to try and get rid of them. But that's it for today guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, take care, bye!